who is generally regarded as the father of medicine. Hippocrates, c. 460 c. 377 BCE, a Greek physician, holds this honor. Greek medicine, previous to Hippocrates, was a mixture of religion, mysticism, and necromancy. Hippocrates established the rational system of medicine as a science. Separating it from religion and philosophy. Diseases had natural causes and natural laws, they were not the wrath of the gods. Hippocrates believed that the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water, were represented in the body by four body fluids, blood, phlegm, black bile, and yellow bile, or humors. When they existed in harmony within the body, the body was in good health. The duty of the physician was to help nature to restore the body's harmony. Diet, exercise, and moderation in all things kept the body well, and psychological healing. Good attitude toward recovery, bed rest, and quiet were part of his therapy. Hippocrates was the first to recognize that different diseases had different symptoms. And he described them in such detail that the descriptions generally would hold today. His descriptions not only included diagnosis but prognosis. Which industries use the most aluminum in the United States? Aluminum is important in all segments of the world economy. The use of aluminum exceeds that of any other metal except iron measured in both quantity and value. In 2009, 33% of the aluminum used in the United States was in the transportation industry for the manufacture of automobiles, trucks, rail cars, marine vessels, and airplanes. Alloys have high tensile strengths and are of considerable industrial importance to the aerospace industry. Because of aluminum's resistance to corrosion, low density, and excellent heat conducting property. 26% of the aluminum was used by the packaging industry for drink and food containers and covers. And foil pouches and wraps in 2009. In 2009, the building construction industry used. 14% of aluminum alloys in such items as gutters, panels, siding, window frames, and roofing. It is a good conductor of electricity and is widely used in power and telephone cables. Light bulbs, and electrical equipment. Examples of the numerous other products containing aluminum and aluminum alloys are cookware. Golf clubs, air conditioners, lawn furniture, license plates, paints, refrigerators, rocket fuel, and zippers. What was Richard Feynman's contribution to physics? Richard Feynman, 1918 to 1988, developed a theory of quantum electrodynamics that described the interaction of electrons, positrons, and photons, providing physicists a new way to work with electrons. He reconstructed quantum mechanics and electrodynamics in his own terms. 
formulating a matrix of measurable quantities visually represented by a series of graphs. Nose as the Feynman Diagrams Feynman was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1965. What is an aquifer? Some rocks of the upper part of Earth's crust contain many small holes, or pores. When these holes are large or are joined together so that water can flow through them easily. The rock is considered to be permeable. A large body of permeable rock in which water is stored and flows through is called an aquifer. From the Latin for water and to bear. Sandstones and gravels are excellent examples of permeable rock. What is the oldest breed of dog? Dogs are the oldest domestic animal, originating 12,000 to 14,000 years ago. They are believed to be descendants of wild canines, most likely wolves, which began to frequent human settlements where food was more readily available. The more aggressive canines were probably driven off or killed, while the less dangerous ones were kept to guard hunt, and later herd other domesticated animals, such as sheep. Attempts at selectively breeding desirable traits likely began soon after. The oldest purebred dog is believed to be the Saluki. Sumerian rock carvings in Mesopotamia. That date to about 7000 BCE depict dogs bearing a striking resemblance to the Saluki. The dogs are 23 to 28 inches, 58 to 71 centimeters, tall with a long, narrow head. The coat is smooth and silky and can be white, cream, fawn, gold, red, grizzle, bluish gray. And tan, black and tan, or tricolour, white, black and tan. The tail is long and feathered. The Saluki has remarkable sight and tremendous speed, which makes it an excellent hunter. The oldest American purebred dog is the American Foxhound. It descends from a pack of foxhounds belonging to an Englishman named Robert. Brooke who settled in Maryland in 1650. These dogs were crossed with other strains imported from England, Ireland, and France to develop the American Foxhound. This dog stands 22 to 25 inches, 56 to 63.5 centimeters, tall. It has a long, slightly domed head, with a straight, squared out muzzle. The coat is of medium length and can be any color. They are used primarily for hunting. How much energy is required to use various electrical appliances? The formula to estimate the amount of energy a specific appliance consumes is wattage x hours used per day, slash 1 comma 0 0 0 equals daily kilowatt hour, kilowatt hour, consumption. To calculate the annual consumption, 
multiply this amount by the number of days you use the appliance during the year. The annual cost to run an appliance is calculated by multiplying the kilowatt hour per year by the local utilities rate per kilowatt hour. Why is static electricity greater in winter than summer? Static electricity results from an imbalance between negative and positive charges in an object. Most of the time the positive and negative charges in an object are balanced. Meaning the object is neutral, it is neither positively nor negatively charged. When the charges build up on an object, they must find a way to be released or transferred to restore the balance between negative and positive charges. During the winter, the air has very little water vapor in it and is dry. In the summer, the air contains more water vapor, the humidity is greater. Water is an electrical conductor allowing electrons to move from one object to another more easily. The humidity in the summer air allows extra electrons on charged objects to leak off into the air and attach to objects that have too few electrons. The dry air in the winter makes it more difficult for the extra electrons to leak off six an object so static electricity. With its characteristic shock or spark, is more common. When and where did the first blood bank open? Several sites claim the distinction. Some sources list the first blood bank as opening in 1940 in New York City under the supervision of Dr. Richard C. Drew. 1904 to 1950. Others list an earlier date of 1938 in Moscow at the Sklifosovsky Institute. Moscow Central Emergency Service Hospital, founded by Professor Sergei Yudin. The term blood bank was coined by Bernard Fantas, 1874-1940, who set up a centralized storage depot for blood in 1937 at the Cook County Hospital in Chicago, Illinois. Which planets are visible to the naked eye? Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn are visible with the naked eye at varying times of the year. What is the basic composition of a sponge? A sponge is supported by a skeleton made of hard crystals called spicules whose shape and composition are important features in taxonomy. Calcareous sponges have spicules of calcium carbonates, the material of marble and limestone. The silica spicules of the hexactinellid, or glass, sponges are formed into a delicate, glassy network. Demo sponges have siliceous spicules and a network of fibrous protein, spunger, that is similar to collagen. The demo sponges are the source of natural household sponges, which are made by soaking dead sponges. 
in shallow water until all the cellular material has decayed, leaving the spongin network behind. However, most sponges sold now for household use are plastic and have nothing to do with real sponges. What is a hard drive of a computer? Hard disks, formerly called hard disk drives and more recently just hard drives, were invented in the 1950s. They are storage devices in desktop computers, laptops, servers, and mainframes. Hard disks use a magnetic recording surface to record, access, and erase data. In much the same way as magnetic tape records, plays, and erases sound or images. A read slash write head, suspended over a spinning disk, is directed by the central processing unit. CPU, to the sector where the requested data is stored, or where the data is to be recorded. A hard disk uses rigid aluminum disks coated with iron oxide to store data. Data are stored in files that are named collections of bytes. The bytes could be anything from the ASCII codes for the characters of a text file to instructions. For a software application to the records of a database to the pixel colors for an image. Hard drive size ranges from several hundred gigabytes to more than one terabyte. A hard disk rotates from 5,400 to 7,200 revolutions per minute, RPM, and is constantly spinning. Except in laptops, which can serve battery life by spinning the hard disk only when in use. An ultrafast hard disk has a separate red slash right head over each track on the disk. So that no time is lost in positioning the head over the desired track. Accessing the desired sector takes only milliseconds, the time it takes for the disk to spin to the sector. Hard drive performance is measured by data rate and seek time. Data rate is the number of bytes per second that the hard drive can deliver to the CPU. Seek time is the amount of time that elapses from when the CPU requests a file and when the first byte of the file is delivered to the CPU. Who discovered the first hormone? The British physiologists William Bayliss, 1860-1924, and Ernest Starling, 1866-1927, discovered secretin in 1902. They used the term hormone, from the Greek word hormon, meaning to set in motion, to describe the chemical substance they had discovered that stimulated an organ at a distance from the chemical site of origin. Their famous experiment using anesthetized dogs demonstrated that dilute hydrochloric acid mixed with partially digested food, activated a chemical substance in the duodenum, the upper part of the small intestine. This activated substance, secretin, was released into the bloodstream and came into contact with cells of the pancreas. In the pancreas it stimulated secretion of digestive juice into the intestine through the pancreatic duct. What is unusual about Amanita mushrooms?
Some of the most poisonous mushrooms belong to the genus Ammonita. Toxic species of this genus have been called such names as Death Angel, Ammonita phalloides, and Destroying Angel, Ammonita virosa. Ingestion of a single cap can kill a healthy, adult human. Even ingesting a tiny bit of the amatoxin the toxin present in species of this. Genus may result in liver ailments that will last the rest of a person's life. What is the largest prime number presently known? A prime number is one that is evenly divisible only by itself and 1 the integers 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19 are prime numbers. Euclid C335 to 270 BCE proved that there is no largest prime number because any attempt to define the largest results in a paradox if there is a largest prime number p adding 1 to the product of all primes up to and including p 1 1 1 3 2 3 3 3 5 3 3p yields a number that is itself a prime number because it cannot be divided evenly by any of the known primes in 2003 michael schaefer discovered the largest known and the 40th prime number 2209960100 this is over 6 million digits long and would take more than 3 weeks to write out by hand. In July 2010, double checking proved this was the 40th Mersenne prime. Named after Marin Mersenne, 1588-1648, a French monk who did the first work in this area. Mersenne primes occur where 2n1 is prime. There is no apparent pattern to the sequence of primes. Mathematicians have been trying to find a formula since the days of Euclid, without success. The 40th prime was discovered on a personal computer as part of the GIMP's effort. The Great Three Internet Mersenne Prime Search, which was formed in January 1996 to discover new world record size prime numbers. GIMPS relies on the computing efforts of thousands of small, personal computers around the world. Interested participants can become involved in the search for primes by going to http colon slash slash www.mersen.org slash default.php What is the hydrologic cycle? The hydrologic cycle takes place in the hydrosphere, which is the region containing all the water in the atmosphere and Earth's surface. It involves five phases, Condensation, infiltration, runoff, evaporation, and precipitation. Rain, and other precipitation, is part of the hydrologic cycle. What are the chief gold producing countries? China is the leading gold-producing nation in the world followed by Australia, South Africa, and the United States. 
In the United States, Nevada is the leading gold producer. Commercial usage in 2009 was estimated as follows, jewelry and arts, 72%. Industrial, mainly electronic, 7%, dental and other industrial uses, 21%. Who invented dynamite? Dynamite was not an accidental discovery but the result of a methodical search by the Swedish technologist Alfred Nobel, 1833-1896. Nitroglycerin had been discovered in 1849 by the Italian organic chemist Ascanio Sabriero. 1812 to 1888, but it was so sensitive and difficult to control that it was useless. Nobel sought to turn nitroglycerin into a manageable solid by absorbing it into a porous substance. From 1866 to 1867 he tried an unusual mineral, Kieselgur, and created a dough-like explosive that was controllable. He also invented a detonating cap incorporating mercury, fulminate with which nitroglycerin could be detonated at will. Who was Nikola Tesla? Nikola Tesla, 1856-1943, was a leading innovator in the field of electricity. Tesla held over 100 patents. Among which are patents for alternating current and the seminal patents for radio. Tesla's work for Westinghouse in the late 1880s led to the commercial production of electricity. Including the Niagara Falls Power Project in 1895. After a bitter and prolonged public feud. Tesla's alternating current system was proven superior to Thomas Edison's direct current system. Tesla was responsible for many other innovations, including the Tesla coil, radio-controlled boats, and neon and fluorescent lighting. What are the primary functions of the lymphatic system? The lymphatic system consists of the lymphatic vessels, lymph, and lymphoid organs. It is responsible for maintaining proper fluid balance in tissues and blood. In addition to its role defending the body against disease-causing agents. The primary functions of the lymphatic system are, 1, to collect the interstitial fluid that consists of excess water and proteins and return it to the blood, 2, to transport lipids and other nutrients that are unable to enter the bloodstream directly, and 3, to protect the body from foreign cells and microorganisms. What are composite materials? Composite materials, or simply composites, consist of two parts. The reinforcing phase and the binder or matrix. 
Composites may be natural substances, such as wood and bone, or man-made substances. A composite product is different from each of its components. And is often superior to each individual component. The binder or matrix of a composite is the material that supports the reinforcing phase. The reinforcing phase is usually in the form of particles, fibers, or flat sheets. Reinforced concrete is an example of a composite material. The steel rods embedded in the concrete, the matrix, are the reinforcing phase adding strength and flexibility to the concrete. High performance composites are composites that perform better than traditional structural materials, such as steel. Most high performance composites have fibers in the reinforcing phase and a polymer matrix. The fibers may be glass, boron, silicon carbide, aluminum oxide, or a type of polymer. The fibers are often interwoven to form bundles. The purpose of the matrix, usually a polymer, in a high performance composite, is to hold the fibers together and protect them. How big are capillaries? The diameter of a capillary is about 0.0003 inches, 0.0076 millimeters, which is just about the same as a single red blood cell. A capillary is only about 0.04 inches, 1 millimeter, long. If all the capillaries in a human body were placed end to end, the collective length would be approximately 25,000 miles, 46,325 kilometers, which is slightly more than the circumference of the Earth at the equator, 24,900 miles, 46,139 kilometers. How much energy does a typical nuclear power plant generate? In 2008, the average nuclear power plant generated about 12.4 billion kilowatt hours, kilowatt hour. The smallest nuclear plant has a single reactor with 476 MW of generation. Capacity and the largest has three reactors with a total of 3825 MW of capacity. How do cells communicate with each other? Cells communicate with each other via small signaling molecules that are produced by specific cells and received by target cells. This communication system operates on both a local and long distance level. The signaling molecules can be proteins, fatty acid derivatives, or gases. Nitric oxide is an example of a gas that is part of a locally based signaling system and is able to signal for a human being's blood pressure to be lowered. Hormones are long distance signaling molecules that must be transported via the circulatory system from their production site to their target cells. 
plant cells, because of their rigid cell walls. Have cytoplasmic bridges called plasmidesmata that allow cell-to-cell -cell communication. Animals use gap junctions to transfer material between adjacent cells. What is a philosopher's stone? A philosopher's stone is the name of a substance believed by medieval alchemists to have the power to change baser metals into gold or silver. It had, according to some, the power of prolonging life and of curing all injuries and diseases. The pursuit of it by alchemists led to the discovery of several chemical substances. However, the magical philosopher's stone has since proved fictitious. What was the first major use for punched cards? Punched cards were a way of programming, or giving instructions to, a machine. In 1801, Joseph Marie Jacquard, 1752-1834, built a device that could do automated pattern weaving. Cards with holes were used to direct threads in the loom, creating predefined patterns in the cloth. The pattern was determined by the arrangement of holes in the cards. With wire hooks passing through the holes to grab and pull through specific threads to be woven into the cloth. By the 1880s, Hermann Hall Erith, 1860-1929. Was using the idea of punched cards to give machines instructions. He built a punched card tabulator that processed the data gathered for the 1890 United States Census in six weeks, three times the speed of previous compilations. Metal pins in the machine's reader passed through holes punched in cards the size of dollar bills. Momentarily closing electric circuits. The resulting pulses advanced counters assigned to details such as income and family size. A sorter could also be programmed to pigeonhole cards according to pattern of holes. An important aid in analyzing census statistics. Later, Hall Erith founded Tabulating Machines Co which in 1924 became IBM, when IBM adopted the 80-column punched card. Measuring 7 and 3 eighths x 3 and 1 fourth inches 18.7 x 8.25 centimeters and 0 0.007 inches 0 0.17 millimeters thick. The de facto industry standard was set, which has endured for decades. How does conventional medicine differ from complementary and alternative medicine, CAM? Conventional medicine, also called allopathic medicine, is based on scientific knowledge of the body and uses treatments that are based on scientific research. It is practiced by healthcare practitioners who hold an MD, Doctor of Medicine, or DO. Doctor of Osteopathy. Conventional medicine is also referred to as Western medicine. Complementary and alternative medicine are healthcare systems. 
practices and products that are generally not considered to be in the mainstream of conventional medicine. There may be some scientific evidence for some CAM therapies. But for most CAM therapies there are still questions that have not been answered through well-designed scientific studies. CAM therapies are often based on the belief that a healthcare provider must treat the whole person body, mind, and spirit as a unit. Most CAM therapies are less invasive than conventional medicine. What is the difference between special and general relativity? Albert Einstein developed the theory of relativity in the early 20th century. He published the theory of special relativity in 1905 and the theory of general relativity in 1916. Special relativity deals only with non-accelerating, inertial, reference frames. General relativity deals with accelerating, non-inertial, reference frames. Simply stated, according to the theory of special relativity, the laws of nature are the same for all observers whose frames of reference are moving with constant velocity with respect to each other. Published as an addenda to the special theory of relativity was the famous equation. E equals mc2, representing that mass and energy can be transformed into each other. In contrast, general relativity states that the laws of nature are the same. For all observers even if they are accelerating with respect to each other. Are freckles dangerous? Freckles, those tan or brown spots on the skin, are small areas of increased skin pigment or melanin. There is a genetic tendency to develop freckles. And parents with freckles often pass this trait down to their children. Freckles usually occur on the face, arms, and other parts of the body that are exposed to the sun. Freckles themselves pose no health risks. But individuals who freckle easily are at an increased risk for skin cancer. How much garbage does the average American generate? According to the Environmental Protection Agency, about 250 million tons of municipal waste was generated in 2008. This is equivalent to 4.5 pounds, 2.0 kilograms per person per day, or approximately 1,650 pounds, 730 kilograms per year. What are the two forms of stroke? There are two forms of stroke, ischemic and hemorrhagic. Ischemic stroke is the blockage of a blood vessel that supplies blood to the brain. Ischemic strokes account for 80% of all strokes. Hemorrhagic stroke is bleeding into or around the brain. 
hemorrhagic strokes account for 20% of all strokes. The symptoms of stroke appear suddenly and include numbness or weakness, especially on one side of the body. Confusion or trouble speaking or understanding speech, trouble seeing in one or both eyes. Trouble walking, dizziness, or loss of balance or coordination, or severe headache with no known cause. Often more than one of these symptoms will be present, but they all appear suddenly. Which is colder the North Pole or the South Pole? The South Pole is considerably colder than the North Pole. The average temperature at the South Pole is minus 56 degrees Fahrenheit minus 49 degrees Celsius. Which is approximately 35 degrees lower than the average temperature at the North Pole. The North Pole is surrounded by an ocean. The water of the ocean retains heat so temperatures at the North Pole are warmer than in the South Pole. The South Pole is located on the continent of Antarctica. Which is a large snow and ice covered land mass surrounded by ocean. In addition, the elevation of the South Pole is 9,300 feet, 2,900 meters. While the North Pole is at sea level, resulting in colder temperatures at the South Pole. Finally, the combination of snow, ice, and extremely dry air reflects nearly 75% of the incoming solar radiation. Any heat that is radiated back to the atmosphere is lost. Instead of being absorbed by water vapor in the atmosphere, When was RNA discovered? By the 1940s it was known that there was another kind of nucleic acid other than DNA, this one called RNA. Phoebus Levine, 1869-1940, a Russian-born chemist. Further refined the work of Albrecht Kossel, 1853-1927. Kossel was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1910 for determining the composition of nucleon. At the time of Kossel's work, it was not clear that DNA and RNA were different substances. In 1909, Levine isolated the carbohydrate portion of nucleic acid from yeast and identified it as the pentose sugar ribose. In 1929, he succeeded in identifying the carbohydrate portion of the nucleic acid isolated from the thymus of an animal. It was also a pentose sugar but it differed from ribose in that it lacked one oxygen atom. Levine called the new substance deoxyribose. These studies define the chemical differences between DNA and RNA by their sugar molecules. What is the float glass process? Manufacture of high-quality flat glass, needed for large areas and industrial uses. Depends on the float glass process, invented by Alastair Pilkington, 
1920 to 1995, in 1952. The float process departs from all other glass processes where the molten glass flows from the melting chamber into the float chamber, which is a molten tin pool approximately 160 feet, 49 meters, long and 12 feet, 3.5 meters, wide. During its passage over this molten tin, the hot glass assumes the perfect flatness of the tin surface and develops excellent thickness uniformity. The finished product is as flat and smooth as plate glass without having been ground and polished. What are the primary colors in light? Color is determined by the wavelength of visible light. The distance between one crest of the light wave and the next. Those colors that blend to form white light are from shortest wavelength to longest, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. All these monochromatic colors, except indigo, occupy large areas of the spectrum. The entire range of wavelengths produced when a beam of electromagnetic radiation is broken up. These colors can be seen when a light beam is refracted through a prism. Some consider the primary colors to be six monochromatic colors that occupy large areas of the spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Many physicists recognize three primary colors, red, green, and blue. All other colors can be made from these by adding two primary colors in various proportions. Within the spectrum, scientists have discovered 55 distinct hues. Infrared and ultraviolet rays at each end of the spectrum are invisible to the human eye. What is vitrification? Vitrification is a technique that transforms radioactive liquid waste into a solid. The nuclear material is mixed with sand or clay. The mixture is then heated to the melting point of the sand or to the point the clay forms a ceramic. Although the resulting composite material is still radioactive, it is much easier and safer to handle transport, and store the radioactive liquid waste as a solid. What determines skin color? Three factors contribute to skin color, one, the amount and kind, yellow, reddish-brown, or black. Of melanin in the epidermis, 2, the amount of carotene, yellow, in the epidermis and subcutaneous tissue. And 3, the amount of oxygen bound to hemoglobin, red blood cell pigment, in the dermal blood cells. Skin color is genetically determined, for the most part. Differences in skin color result not from the number of melanocytes an individual has, but rather from the amount of melanin produced by the melanocytes and the size and distribution of the pigment granules. Although darker skinned people have slightly more melanocytes than those who are light skinned, 
the distribution of melanin in the higher levels of the epidermis contributes to their skin color. What is the difference between a National Weather Service Statement, Advisory, Watch, and Warning? The National Weather Service will issue a statement as a first alert of the possibility of severe weather. An advisory is issued when weather conditions are not life-threatening. But individuals need to be alert to weather conditions. A weather watch is issued when conditions are more favorable than usual for dangerous weather conditions, e. G. Tornadoes and violent thunderstorms. A watch is a recommendation for planning, preparation, and increased awareness, i.e., to be alert for changing weather. Listen for further information, and think about what to do if the danger materializes. A warning is issued when a particular weather hazard is either imminent or has been reported. A warning indicates the need to take action to protect life and property. The type of hazard is reflected in the type of warning, e. G. Tornado warning, blizzard warning. What are the macronutrients and micronutrients of plants? The macronutrients of plants are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Nitrogen, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, and sulfur. These all are nearly or in some cases far greater than 1% of the dry weight of a plant. The micronutrients are iron, chlorine, copper, manganese, zinc, molybdenum, and boron. Each of the micronutrients constitutes less than one to several hundred parts per million in plants. Sodium, silicon, cobalt, and selenium are beneficial elements. Research has not shown that these elements are essential for plant growth and development. How can a genuine diamond be identified? There are several tests that can be performed without the aid of tools. A knowledgeable person can recognize the surface luster, straightness and flatness of facets, and high light reflectivity. Diamonds become warm in a warm room and cool if the surroundings are cool. A simple test that can be done is exposing the stones to warmth and cold and then touching them to one's lips to determine their appropriate temperature. This is especially effective when the results of this test are compared to the results of the test done on a diamond known to be genuine. Another test is to pick up the stone with a moistened fingertip. If this can be done, then the stone is likely to be a diamond. The majority of other stones cannot be picked up in this way. The water test is another simple test. A drop of water is placed on a table. A perfectly clean diamond has the ability to almost magnetize water and will keep the water from spreading.
an instrument called a diamond probe can detect even the most sophisticated fakes. Gemologists always use this as part of their inspection. What is Belgian block? Belgian block is a road building material, first used in Brussels, Belgium. And introduced into New York about 1850. Its shape is a truncated pyramid with a base of about 5 to 6 inches. 13 to 15 centimeters, square and a depth of 7 to 8 inches, 18 to 20.5 centimeters. The bottom of the block is not more than 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters, different from the top. The original blocks were cut from trap rock from the Palisades of New Jersey. Belgian blocks replaced cobblestones mainly because they're regular. Shape allowed them to remain in place better than cobblestones. They were not universally adopted, however. Because they would wear round and create joints or openings that would then form ruts and hollows. Although they provided a smooth surface compared to the uneven cobblestones. They still made for a rough and noisy ride. What chemicals were initially banned by the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants? A group of chemicals known as the Dirty Dozen were the original group of chemicals banned by the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants, POPs. All of these chemicals possess toxic properties, resist degradation, and are transported across international boundaries via air, water, and migratory species. The convention went into effect in 2004. Since then, other chemical compounds have been added or are being considered for inclusion on the list since the original 12. Health effects of these compounds include disruption of the endocrine system, cancer, and adverse effects in the developmental processes of organisms. Who is considered the founder of modern conservation? Scottish-born American naturalist John Muir, 1838-1914 is the father of conservation and the founder of the Sierra Club. He fought for the preservation of the Sierra Nevada in California and the creation of Yosemite National Park. He directed most of the Sierra Club's conservation efforts and was a lobbyist for the Antiquities Act, which prohibited the removal or destruction of structures of historic significance from federal lands. Another prominent influence was George Perkins Marsh, 1801-1882, a Vermont lawyer and scholar. His book Man and Nature emphasized the mistakes of past civilizations that resulted in the destruction of natural resources. As the conservation movement swept through the country in the last three decades of the 19th century, a number of prominent citizens joined. The efforts to conserve natural resources and to preserve wilderness areas 
writer John Burroughs, 1837-1921, Forrester Gifford Pinchot, 1865-1946, botanist Charles Sprague Sargent. 1841-1927, and editor Robert Underwood Johnson, 1857-1937, were early advocates of conservation. How can the temperature be determined from the frequency of cricket chirps? Listen for the chirping of either katydids or crickets. Then count the number of chirps you hear in one minute. For the following equation C equals the number of chirps per minute, for katydids. Fahrenheit temperature equals 60 plus, C19, slash 3 for crickets, Fahrenheit temperature equals 50 plus, C50, slash 4. How many distinct regions are in the large intestine? The large intestine is mostly a storage site for undigested materials until they are eliminated from the body via defecation. It consists of three distinct regions, one, the cecum, two, the colon, and three, the rectum. The cecum is the first section of the large intestine below the ileocecal valve. The appendix is attached to the cecum. Since the colon, ascending, transverse, descending, and sigmoid colon is the largest region of the large intestine, the term colon is often applied to the entire large intestine. The rectum, rectum, anal canal, and anus is the final region of the large intestine and the end of the digestive tract. Although most absorption has occurred in the small intestine, water and electrolytes are still absorbed through the large intestine. What is the rare condition called synesthesia? Synesthesia, or cross-perception, is a condition in which a person perceives stimuli not only with the sense for which it is intended, but with others as well. For example, a synesthete may see musical notes as color, hues or feel flavors as different textures on the skin. Experiments have determined that the linking of the senses occurs because of some unique physical condition in the brains of these people. For example, blood flow to some parts of the brain normally increased by sensory stimuli, decreases in sinus heads. What is a tabby cat? Tabby, the basic feline coat pattern, dates back to the time before cats were domesticated. The tabby coat is an excellent form of camouflage. Each hair has two or three dark and light bands, with the tip always dark. There are four variations on the basic tabby pattern. The mackerel, 
also called striped or tiger, tabby has a dark line running down the back. From the head to the base of the tail, with several stripes branching down the sides. The legs have stripes, and the tail has even rings with a dark tip. There are two rows of dark spots on the stomach. Above the eyes is a mark shaped like an M and dark lines run back to the ears. Two dark necklace-like bands appear on the chest. The blotched. Or classic, tabby markings seem to be the closest to those found in the wild. The markings on the head, legs, tail, and stomach are the same as the mackerel tabby. The major difference is that the blotched tabby has dark patches on the shoulder and side. Rimmed by one or several lines. The spotted tabby has uniformly shaped round or oval dark spots all over the body and legs. The forehead has an M on it, and a narrow, dark line runs down the back. The Abyssinian tabby has almost no dark markings on its body. They appear only on the forelegs, the flanks, and the tail. The hairs are banded except on the stomach, where they are light and unicolored. What animals are members of the phylum Nidaria? Corals, jellyfishes, sea anemones, and hydras are members of the phylum Nidaria. The name Nidaria, from the Greek term nide, meaning nettle, and Latin term aria, meaning like or connected with, refers to the stinging structures that are characteristic of some of these animals. These organisms have a digestive cavity with only one opening to the outside. This opening is surrounded by a ring of tentacles used to capture food and defend against predators. Cells in the tentacles and outer body surface contain stinging, harpoon-like structures called nematocysts. Nadarians are the first group in the animal hierarchy to have their cells organized into tissues. What is an atom? An atom is the smallest unit of an element, containing the unique chemical properties of that element. Atoms are very small several million atoms could fit in the period at the end of the sentence. Where are bacteria found? Bacteria inhabit every place on Earth including places where no other organism can survive. Bacteria have been detected as high as 20 miles, 32 kilometers. Above the Earth and 7 miles, 11 kilometers, deep in the waters of the Pacific Ocean. They are found in extreme environments, such as the Arctic tundra, boiling hot springs, and our bodies. Heat-tolerant bacteria have been found at a gold mine in South Africa at a level of 2.17 miles. 3.5 kilometers, below Earth's surface where the temperature in the mine was 149 degrees Fahrenheit 65 degrees Celsius. What is the original breed of domestic cat in the United States?
The American short hair is believed by some naturalists to be the original domestic cat in America. It is descended from cats brought to the New World from Europe by the early settlers. The cats readily adapted to their new environment. Selective breeding to enhance the best traits began early in the 20th century. The American short hair is a very athletic cat with a lithe, powerful body, excellent for stalking and killing prey. Its legs are long, heavy, and muscular, ideal for leaping and for coping with all kinds of terrain. The fur, in a wide variety of color and coat patterns, is thick enough to protect the animal from moisture and cold, but short enough to resist matting and snagging. Although this cat makes an excellent house pet and companion, it remains very self sufficient. Its hunting instinct is so strong that it exercises the skill even when well provided with food. The American short hair is the only true working cat in the United States. How did the term glitch originate? A glitch is a sudden interruption or fracture in a chain of events, such as in commands to a processor. The stability may or may not be salvageable. The word is thought to have evolved from the German glitchen. Meaning to slip, or by the Yiddish glitchen, to slide or skid. One small glitch can lead to a cascade of failure along a network. For instance, in 1997 a small internet service provider in Virginia unintentionally provided incorrect router. A router is the method by which the network determines the next location for information. Information to a backbone operator. A backbone is a major network thoroughfare in which local and regional networks patch into for lengthy interconnections. Because many other internet service providers rely on the backbone providers. The error echoed around the globe, causing temporary network failures. How large is a Google? A Google is 10,100, the number 1 followed by 100 zeros. Unlike most other names for numbers, it does not relate to any other numbering scale. The American mathematician Edward Kastner 1878-1955, first used the term in 1938, when searching for a term for this large number, Kastner asked his nephew. Milton Serrata, 1911-1981, then about nine years old, to suggest a name. The Googolplex is ten followed by a Google of zeros, represented as ten Google. The popular web search engine Google. Com is named after the concept of a Google. What are X rays? X-rays are electromagnetic radiation with short wavelengths, 10 to 3 nanometers, and a great amount of energy. They were discovered in 1898 by William Conrad Rentgen, 1845 to 1923. 
X-rays are frequently used in medicine because they are able to pass through opaque. Dense structures such as bone and form an image on a photographic plate. They are especially helpful in assessing damage to bones. Identifying certain tumors, and examining the chest heart and lungs and abdomen. A major disadvantage of X-rays as a diagnostic tool is that they provide little information about the soft tissues. Since they only show a flat, two-dimensional picture, they cannot distinguish between the various layers of an organ. Some of which may be healthy while others may be diseased. What are the levels of structural organization in vertebrate animals, including humans? Every vertebrate animal has four major levels of hierarchical organization. Cell, tissue, organ, and organ system. Each level in the hierarchy is of increasing complexity. And all organ systems work together to maintain life. How is gasohol made? Gasohol, a mixture of 90% unleaded gasoline and 10% ethyl alcohol. Ethanol, has gained some acceptance as a fuel for motor vehicles. It is comparable in performance to 100% unleaded gasoline with the added benefit of superior anti-knock properties, no premature fuel ignition. No engine modifications are needed for the use of gasohol and all auto manufacturers approve the use of gasohol. Blends of 10% ethanol In gasoline vehicles Since corn is the most abundant U.S. grain crop, it is predominantly used in producing ethanol. However, the fuel can be made from other organic raw materials such as oats, barley, wheat, milo, sugar beets, or sugar cane. Potatoes, cassava, a starchy plant, and cellulose. If broken up into fermentable sugars, are possible other sources. The corn starch is processed through grinding and cooking. The process requires the conversion of a starch into a sugar, which in turn is converted into alcohol by reaction with yeast. The alcohol is distilled, and any water is removed until it is 200 proof, 100% alcohol. One acre of corn yields 250 gallons, 946 liters, of ethanol, an acre of sugar beets yields 350 gallons. 1,325 liters, while an acre of sugar can produce 630 gallons, 2,385 liters. In the future, motor fuel could conceivably be produced almost exclusively from garbage but currently its conversion remains an expensive process. How much radiation does the average dental x-ray emit?
dental examinations are estimated to contribute 0.15 mR per year to the average genetically significant dose. A small amount when compared to other medical x-rays. How does the U.S. What are the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells? Eukaryotic cells are much more complex than prokaryotic cells. Having compartmentalized interiors and membrane-bound organelles within their cytoplasm. The major feature of a eukaryotic cell is its membrane-bound nucleus, which compartmentalizes the activities of the genetic information from other types of cellular metabolism.